Welcome to Joe Seminera Presents. I'm Joe Seminera. Um, I did say I wasn't going to post uh, much on this channel anymore because I kind of moved everything over to Joe Seminera Movies, uh, which you should also uh, click and subscribe to that channel as well to get some really up-to-date cool stuff. But uh, wanted to, to, to definitely talk about uh, the whole movement on Amazon Prime because I've been getting a lot of filmmakers that have been sending me um, requests and emails wanting to know kind of you know what the best way to do is to load a, a video onto Amazon or your movie onto Amazon and a lot of a lot has changed with Amazon as you may or may not know um, for instance you know an independent filmmaker cannot load up a documentary anymore those days are gone and um, Amazon is real particular now if you load up a series uh, so they now will be putting you through a filtration system uh, with whatever category you put it in in your your 13 episodes or your however many episodes season may or may not jump on the uh, platform. But in looking at Amazon, it's still a great tool to upload. And, you know, a lot of people say that it's easy, but, you know, a lot of people do write in and say that it's very difficult to load because... You know, it gets kicked back for thumbnails. You know, Amazon's got like a rule. If they kick back anything, it could be like a, a logo that's not formatted the correct way. Your video is not the correct bit rate. Um, captions could be off. Three times, you're out. So, you know, they don't tell you this either. They just send you these emails by, by all the other people that work outside of the United States. So you'll get an email from like some random person in a company uh, in another country that'll just say, hey, you know what? Um, we're reviewing the title, we'll get back to you. But they don't review the title. You're basically, you're banned from that particular title. And if you get more stuff wrong with the upload, you could you could ban your channel entirely just, just, be, just for accidentally uploading things that might not fit on the platform. So imagine that, right? You don't even have explicit content or anything like that. But you, if you get a, a, an artwork size wrong or something stupid, you know, they'll, they will basically flag your whole channel. It's happened to me. Uh, and it's actually getting worse, I, I guess, because maybe they don't have the staff enough to really watch out for this and, and oversee it. Um, at any rate, so my best advice is going to be to independent filmmakers is to find a distributor that's pretty honest. And that's going to be hard. Um, but I will I will give you a recommend, recommendation on two that, that I've worked with and I still work with today that are good. Indie Rights, which is a very honest distribution company. Um, you know, they have full disclosure with all their quarterly payments. So definitely look them up. And there's also Film Hub, which is uh, a dynamite company too. You gotta do a little bit more work with Film Hub. But, uh, you know, both of them charge about the same percentage rate between 20, 25%. Uh, and it's worth it, I think, because they load it up, they make sure it goes up on the platform. You know, look, you gotta decide, and I guess I've said this to you, I guess you gotta be both when you're a filmmaker, a distributor, a marketer, and a producer, and a director, and everything else to really be successful these days. Um, but I know what I don't know, you know, and I'm not a professional distributor, and nor do I wanna be, so I always like to lean towards a company that I feel I could just make the movie, give it to them, and they distribute it. You know, they do what they do best. Uh, I'm a writer and a director and a producer. I don't want to get involved in the distribution game. You have to be someone, I'll tell you what you have to be if you're a filmmaker, is a great marketer. Uh, because that, I can tell you, no distribution company will do unless you get in the circle of Hollywood and we finally got that glare out. But um, that's my two cents for the Amazon. If you can find a distributor, definitely, you know, go with them because what happens is they get into a, a bracket of being like a, uh, they call it like a, a production house or a distribution house. And they work directly with someone that they're assigned to with Amazon. It's a real person, you know, they can call up, they can email, they can answer quick. Us other independent filmmakers have to, have to go through the system of a thousand other filmmakers, you know, sending questions to Amazon that are never really answered and you know we get caught up in a lot of the red tape but uh, going through somebody who you know delivers at least a hundred titles a month is going to get uh, an easier tie and an easier uh, you know place in the Amazon spectrum so look for a distributor 
um, unless you absolutely know what you're doing with formatting, artwork, and captions. I mean, I've, I, I've went through some pretty reputable captioning companies and they still screwed up. So, you know, and, and that, that strike is gonna count against you. You can't say, oh, well, the captioning company gave me the CRT files. It doesn't matter. If they're not right, they get kicked back and that's a strike against you. So um, think about that. It's not worth getting a channel banned. And, uh, you know, if you have any questions, put it in the comment here. I'm sure myself or somebody else will be able to answer it. If you're doing anything uh, worthwhile at all, you're filming that movie not worrying about what the naysayers say. You can pick up that camera, you're gonna make up that movie, uh, and you're gonna distribute it. Do it today.